What's up everyone, it's your rifle here, and thanks for checking out this Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2 video. I know I haven't made any videos on this, but I checked this game out and I had a blast playing it. I wanted to show you guys some secrets and easter eggs I stumbled upon while going through this game. I also am going to be reviewing some secret characters, and I'll be making a few other guides in the future. Not all in this one video, so don't get me wrong on that. Once again, I enjoyed my time on this game, so I wanted to make some videos over it. Okay, so let's get into this one. The first secret and easter egg I'm going to be showing you is on the Seeds of Time multiplayer map in the area Zegypt. If you head over to the far right when entering the area from Dino Land, you will find some camels as if they were supposed to be on a merry-go-round pressed up against a wall. This camel right here on the far end, believe it or not, actually opens up a secret passageway that leads to a decent advantage point in the map. But while you're heading to the area, watch it. You will notice a bowling ball rolling down the path you have to go. This is actually the Easter egg in this little secret area. It's actually resembling Indiana Jones, if you guys can't tell. Pretty cool how you can just drop down into this area. But I have to say, when I first came here, it took me by surprise. The bowling ball just came and there I was, I was dead. Just like that, in the blink of an eye. But for the most part, it's pretty simple to navigate your way past this bowling ball. Just don't be like, ooh, looking around like I was like, whoa, what's that? Well, I have to say it's pretty creative that they decide to use the bowling ball. But when you get to the top, you will notice that you get a nice advantage point. But I immediately got shots by a computer and they turned me into a goat. Daggone computers and their little aimbots. Like, how did they already know I was up there with the quickness? Them and their little sensors they got. I want to get a stealth kill on them, you know, and not be turned into a goat immediately when I get into the advantage point. So yeah, it might be more useful if you're playing against real players and not computers. I mean, it could still be useful, but it will be more useful against real players. Anywho, if you go back down to the bottom of where that bowling ball is actually going to, you can get to a little area down here in this lava pit. But be warned, you'll be trapped if you decide to go into this little area. You might be able to get out, but it's very unlikely when attempting. Anyways, the next secret area is in this map as well. It's actually a secret opening that takes you to, once again, another nice advantage point pretty quickly. But you all have been warned of the ancient computer ways. I mean, go figure, it's Egyptian style. Of course there's going to be these secret openings. Anyways, if you go to this area in the Zegypt place, you'll just need to jump on this coffin and it will open up the wall straight ahead where you can go to get a nice view on your enemies. On your way up, you'll find a trap that can kill you. Even if the thing closes all the way and you go to run into it, it will kill you. So, be warned of that. I did that and I was like, wow, really? Did I just really die over that? It was closed all the way. How did that just smash me? Anyways, you'll also run into a need to pee sign, and the P is obviously spelled differently. It's supposed to be funny. And I actually like the humor that they added into this game. That's one of the reasons why I kept playing it. It kept me more engaged, just because it wasn't all serious and whatnot. Also, there's a tomb up here with an eye looking down on it. Anyways, if you go over yonder over here, this is where the vantage point comes in. You'll be able to come out here on this boat, and it has a pretty nice point of view over the control zone. So yeah, rain down fire on those enemies from up here. This next one is a pretty funny Star Wars Easter egg. And actually, there is multiple of this same Star Wars reference around. But the first one I stumbled upon was here on the moon in this baggage claim area. Right here on the wall. As you can see, it says, Ham shot first. Which, this is actually referencing Han shot first. So, I guess technically this is saying Ham shot first. So not Ham, it's Ham. Anyways, as I was mentioning before, I had seen multiple others as well with this same text. It's pretty cool. Anyways, this next one is the good, the bad, and the spiky, which is obviously referencing the good, the bad, and the ugly. It can be found literally right outside of the plant base, right behind the chomper pizza down in the parking lot of past the fence. Ah, yes, there it is. Anywho, if you follow my path from here up this staircase to the left, will actually lead to the next little reference on the wall. And that is, in God we trust. As you can see here, it says, in taco we trust. And Davy, the plant leader, is looking similar to what Jesus is supposed to look like. There is another one I know of as well with the same design against a building too. But from that reference coming up the stairs, if you actually turn around and head up these flight of stairs over here, you will find a box that is looking a lot like the box from the Call of Duty Zombies. You know, the box that gives you the weapons and it's random. And I have to say, they do go hand in hand too, because this is a zombies box. I mean, as you can see the text on this. There are more of these boxes that can be found around the zombie territory too. 
But anyways, from here, if you head right out of this place and up the street, you will find some artwork done on a side of a building. And this artwork is very similar to the artist Banksy and his balloon art, which evidently the idea of this art piece evokes that hope is essential as it gives people the motivation to continue on in life despite seemingly dreary circumstances, such as God and God we trust. Love is symbolized by the balloon instead of God, like I was trying to give an example of. The balloon is basically portraying a fundamental human need and it must be cherished to go on for hope. And as you can see in the artwork in the game, it says Z on the balloon and the text to the side says Z loves me. So Z is what this guy holding the balloon cherishes. Pretty cool and it actually seems Justin Bieber also loves this heart piece, seeming how he got it tattooed on his arm. Another Banksy balloon design I know of in this game is in the imp lair behind the zombie base. Anywho, literally right next to the Banksy art piece is a soccer field, and on it is a reference to EA Sports, except it says P Sports. And you can activate the soccer field as well here and play against your buddies or yourself for that matter. Anywho, lastly up on this list, I have two secret rooms you can find in the sewers of the middle of the map. I mean, that's the easiest entrance. There's also some other entrances you can take down here as well, but you can easily find this by the center of the map in front of the town hall. I guess this is just the easiest route for me to explain to you guys. Anyways, once you start heading down into these sewers, you're going to find some pipes. I mean, straight ahead, you'll see a door that you can unlock, or maybe you've already unlocked this door and you know what's behind it, but that's not the point. We're actually going to the right first here. To the right of us, we'll find some pipes down here. And you can actually get into these sewers before I show you this little trick jump. You can actually get into these sewers multiple ways. This isn't the only way. Another way is you can be the cactus as well and use your little onion drone to shoot the button that opens up a wall. And that's another way you can make your way inside. But as you can see, you can also use Citron and fast roll your way across to the sewage over here. I mean, there's just different routes to take. The main goal is to get to this secret treasure room. It's not too confusing to get in here, and there is some crazy good valuables inside. Highly recommend going to this area. This secret room looks as if it's referencing from Fable 3 majorly, with the city in the middle of the room and how it's shaped with the treasures around it. But I mean, I don't actually know if this is for sure a Fable 3 reference. All I know is there is some great loot inside this place. Anywho, for the next secret in these sewers, you're going to need to buy the known target practice place. Once you get the door open, you can actually find a secret chest once you start the target practice game. It'll actually be in the second room you encounter here. You can find a secret chest over here behind these airbags. Just make sure you don't continue the way it's telling you to go. Just go back here, jump over behind these airbags, and shoot out this wooden wall. Inside this wooden wall that you can shoot out, you can find yourself another nice chest to loot. So, congratulations. But I guess that's our wrapping up these secrets and easter eggs. I hope you enjoyed this compilation, and thanks everyone for watching. As always, I'm going to leave a friendly reminder for you guys to leave a like on this video. It's greatly appreciated. Definitely took me a little while to put together for y'all. But hey, you can always leave a dislike or do nothing. It's your choice. You have the power at the click of your finger. But this has been your rifle. Remember to stay safe out there, everyone. And, of course, subscribe for more secrets and Easter eggs and all kinds of other content from me. Peace.